Hey guys! So, I did record this video, but um, I don't like the lighting in my basement. So, we're going to do it upstairs. So, sorry it's late. Um, so, I'm going to show you how to crunch. Because I go to the gym, and I see these people crunching, and they're not crunching correctly. You're not going to get results. And I'll, I'll, I'll show you the crunch that they do. Um, and yes, I had a mishap with my hair, so we're going to go orange for a little bit. All right, so my yoga mat's downstairs, so always make sure you have something underneath you, like a blanket for your back. You want it supported so you're not just on the hardwood floor. It really hurts your spine too. So a lot of people I see crunching and they're holding their head and they're just going like this. Okay. Yeah, you have, like, you know, your pressure in your abs or whatever, but you're not going to get results doing that. You're also probably going to hurt your neck because you're pushing on it. And that's uncomfortable. It's actually uncomfortable for me anyway. So what you're going to do is obviously you're, you're going to lay down. You're going to contract your muscles and inhale. So contracting inhaling and then you're going to want to also lift your shoulders off of the ground when you go up your hands are only to cup your head and just hold it not push on it so and then when you go up you exhale so contract inhale and then you'll get all of all of your ab muscles. Um, exhale as you come up. I know the first crunch I did, I, I exhaled on the way down. Don't do that. Exhale on the way up. So contract, inhale. And that's how you do a crunch. My laptop doesn't like me today. Okay, so that's how you do a crunch. Um, and let's see what else I need to drink my pre-workout and I'm about to work out but I thought I'd show you show you that um because I thought it was important um um I also apologize for being absent for like the last three weeks um I actually I had muscle spasms in my back which I get because I had a back injury about 10 years 10 11 years ago um, and they hurt and I actually am like almost out of medication for it. So, you know, and it's COVID times. So right now I kind of have to just like deal with it if I can. And I will only take my muscle spasm med meds if like on the days that like I can't walk. And that was the problem was I, I don't know what I did exactly, but I couldn't, I couldn't walk for like two days. Um, well, I mean, I could, but I had to shuffle my feet like, an, like, you know, I almost needed a walker. Um, and then I ended up hurting my ankle, which is very common because I started running again and, um, my, my joints just aren't used to it. I have weak joints anyway, which is why I, I do what I do. I didn't do my fitness, but, um, yeah. So that hurt really bad. So it took about a week or two to recover from both things at once. And then school started today. So I've been preparing for that and I've just been like crazy. So I'm glad I finally got this up. Um, I'm so sorry that took so long. Um, I did record it. I did not like the lighting. I have like this glare for my light. Um, and then Let's see. Oh, I wanted to talk to you about uh, body types as well. So there's ectomorph, mesomorph, and endomorph. I can give you some basics about ecto and meso. Um, ecto, your body can um, can process carbs better, I believe. Um, 
you can you can also take quizzes and like to find your body type and to like look up what exactly is um, better for your body type. I believe um, ecto is more of like a carb and I want to say protein based. Um, so like your carb intake should just be a little more than normal because uh, your body can process it. Mesomorph, oh, an ectomorph, you are able to gain muscle fairly easily. Um, mesomorph, balanced diet, you can bulk easily, um, you can gain muscle easily, um, and that's, that's pretty much it. Mesomorph's pretty, like, where you want to be, but unfortunately everyone's different, and <laughs> if you're an if you're an ectomorph, you can't be a mesomorph. Like, that's just, it's how your body processes food as well. So, I'm an endomorph. I tend to retain my body fat easily. I cannot process carbs as well. So, I need to be on a low-carb diet. Um, and I can process protein and fat, like, real quick. Um, so the, my, my carb intake is extremely lowered. I have a yogurt and my protein shake with milk for lunch, just 12 ounces of milk and protein powder. That's what I have for lunch. Although I believe I've already said that to you guys. Um, I'm also intermittent fasting. And then for dinner, I try to have as low carb of a dinner as possible. So, like, if my husband makes pasta for dinner, instead of a pasta base, I'll have cauliflower rice or I'll have broccoli. Those are my two main, um, main bases for my low-carb dinners because I can't, I can't have carbs. I process it slowly and not very well, and it just ends up turning into fat, and my goal is to get rid of the fat. So that's just the difference. I endomorphs can gain muscle easily. You just have to work a little harder. Um, my main problem, endomorphs, as an endomorph, my fat tends to be right in my tummy area and my hips. Although I have that problem anyway because of birth control. Um, too much estrogen will do that to you too. And I think that's my problem with my birth control because they just switched me from brand name to generic without even telling me. And I wasn't able to get my doctor until yesterday. So um, I'm switching to a new one and hopefully that helps get rid of this because hormones for women are another factor of... Um, how your body reacts and unfortunately too much estrogen will um, hold more body fat in your hip area and your stomach area. So if that's something that concerns you, I would go talk to your gynecologist. Um, obviously I would talk to a physician for anything like if you want to intermittent fast or if you want to go on some sort of special diet. Um, like keto, um, I would talk to a physician. I myself do not do keto, and I've said this many times. I don't like it. It's extremely hard, plus it's hard to get like back onto a normal diet once you get off of it after you've been on it for so long. It makes you feel like shit, to be completely honest, because you're no longer going to be in ketosis. Um, my husband... His body did not react well to eating normal food after he got off of that keto diet because he was trying to be supportive and did it with me. Um, but um, I also have heart problems in my family. So that's also something or another reason why I can't do keto because I'm too worried about my heart and I don't have any problems right now. 
but obviously like I have to be referred to a cardiologist and so I can't do that because I have no problems at the moment but my brother has heart palpitations and so does my dad so I just I just don't want to do keto for those reasons so if you have any heart problems I, I wouldn't do it but again talk to your physician um let's see so that's my body type and how I'm trying to control that. See, school started today in the COVID world of Ohio. I'm not sure what's going to happen. We'll see. Um, I did try to record campus today of like how it is. Obviously I'm a history major, so I'm like documenting everything that's going on, but, um, I'm going to try again tomorrow because I have an earlier class and everything was very confusing. I got to campus. My normal bus was no longer running and I had to take another bus, which took me to a whole different place that I didn't even know where I was. And I had to Google maps how to get to my class. Luckily it dropped me off next to the class that I have tomorrow, but it's, it was a whole, it's a whole ordeal now on campus. And I wish they just went all online. But welcome to the land of 2020. <laughs> this is not okay. I hope everything just gets better. And I'm rambling today and I'm so sorry. But I hope you guys know how to do those crunches now and do them correctly and get some results in your abs instead of hurting yourself. And I am going to start going back to the gym. Um, so far, only no on Tuesdays, which is back day. Maybe on Mondays, which I was doing for chest day. So I felt like I wasn't getting enough chest in. But if my work, if my schedule, workout schedule doesn't allow it, because I just started a new program by Holly, um, then... It's not, I'm not going to be able to do that, but that's honestly okay. Cause this, I don't like when my chest hurts. Oh, it's thundering. Okay. Um, so at least with back day, I can like possibly record something and show you guys forms on how to lift weights. Um, I've been through physical therapy and she told me how to do it because of my back. So she told me forms. She taught me forms. So I'm going to teach you those forms. So you guys don't hurt yourselves. Um, I don't do actual deadlifts. I do girly deadlifts. So I'll show you guys how to do those deadlifts. Um, but I do not squat down and lift up with the bar. That's how I hurt myself last summer, and I I refuse to do it again. But these are the girly deadlifts. I call them girly deadlifts. Um, are just as effective as normal deadlifts, and you'll be less likely to hurt yourself as long as you're doing, like, a low weight. Um, my husband just Snapchatted me, and it's probably how much he's doing. He's bulking, so he's at the gym right now. I am not bulking. I refuse to bulk. I am also, no offense to those who do, but I am a woman. I am lean. But I mean, girl, if you want to bulk, you go right on ahead. Uh, kudos to you. I just do not have the body for it. Well, I mean, technically I do. I bulk very easily to be completely honest, but I I do not want to. I want to be strong, but look weak. Then people will underestimate me, and then I can kick their asses if I have to. And I'm just kidding. But it's a nice thought. All right, guys. So do those crunches. Do them correctly. And I will hopefully see you guys next week. It's the beginning of classes, so I shouldn't have too much to do. So I should be able to fit in another video and I'm going to try to take you guys to campus with me tomorrow so you will get a video regardless. Bye guys!